Jeff Stevens' discourse delves into the critical aspect of Christianity that often gets overshadowed by doctrines, creeds, and moral posturing. The treatment of fellow human beings. Stevens argues that the way Christians interact with others serves as the most authentic testament to the validity and transformative power of their faith. He posits that if Christians are self-serving, unforgiving, and arrogant in their relationships, it not only undermines their message, but also validates skepticism about Christianity. Such behavior can affirm the skeptic's suspicion that Christianity is merely a facade, a set of moralistic principles, without the supernatural power to genuinely change human hearts. Also, Stevens contrasts this with what he describes as the transformative power of genuine Christian love and forgiveness. He contends that when Christians are filled with the grace and forgiveness that they believe God has shown them, it manifests in their relationships in a way that is foreign to the worldly, legalistic approach to God. This kind of love is not self-serving. It is a radical departure from the world's natural condition of self-orientation. It serves as a living testimony to the supernatural power of God to break the chains of selfishness and sin, thereby establishing a new life led by the Spirit. Stevens refers to Romans 7, 6 to emphasize this transformative power, which he believes can only come from a divine source. Moreover, he brings in the teachings of Jesus and the Apostle Paul to bolster his argument. According to Jesus, merely loving those who love you is not a testament to Christian faith. It is merely in accord with how the world already operates. Jesus challenges Christians to go beyond this, to love even those who hate and wrong them, to pray for them, meet their needs, and endure their scorn. Stephen cites Paul's exhortation to bear with one another and forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven them. Colonel 3.12.13 He accentuates that these acts of love and forgiveness are impossible to achieve without divine intervention. Furthermore, Stephen suggests that when such love and forgiveness are genuinely present in the lives of Christians, it serves as a powerful witness to the unbelieving world. It shows them something they are not familiar with, but inherently know they need. It's not just about showcasing a set of moral principles, but about demonstrating the transformative power of divine love and grace. This, according to Stevens, is the Spirit of Jesus Christ at work in the lives of believers. In essence, Stevens is calling for a shift in focus within Christian communities. He debates that instead of concentrating solely on doctrines, creeds, or moral lives, Christians should prioritize the authentic, selfless love and forgiveness that they believe comes from God. This love, rooted in divine grace, serves as the most potent testimony to the world, offering a glimpse of something supernatural and much needed. It challenges the world's natural self-orientation and offers a transformative alternative that can only come from a divine source. By doing so, Christians can affirm the authenticity of their faith, and serve as living testimonies to the transformative power of God.